Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Beat. The word I read was B-E-A-T. Beat. So the correct answer for example 1 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 1. Example 2. Park. The word I read was P-A-R-K. Park. So the correct answer for example 2 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number 1. Number 1. Red. Number 2. Oaf. Number three, stamp. Number four, march. Number five, ham. Number six, drunk. Number seven, borrow. Number eight, stock. Number nine, O. Number ten, skill. Test two. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example one, seeds. The word I read was S-E-E-D-S, seeds. So the correct answer for example one is B. This is recorded by shading answer space B against number one. Example two, bent. The word I read was B-E-N-T, bent. So the correct answer for example two is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test two on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11, there. Number 12, seethe. Number 13, mace. Number 14, chop. Number 15, dame. Number 16, clothes. Number 17, yam. Number 18, tether. Number 19, shed. Number 
Number 20, Psalms. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Watch. The word I read was W-A-T-C-H. Watch. So the correct answer for example 1 is D. This is recorded by shading answer space D against number 1. Example 2. Slime. The word I read was S L I M E. Slime. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 3 on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Number 21. Ask. Number 22. Tanks. Number 23. Geese. Number 24. Cheer. Number 25, Thor. Number 26, Prize. Number 27, Lair. Test 4. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example one, is that shot a girl? The sentence I read was sentence C, is just shot a girl. So the correct answer for example one is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number one. Example two, the steam has power. The sentence I read was sentence A, the steam has power. So the correct answer for example two is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 4, your answer sheet. Start at number 28. Number 28. The word is crumps. Number 29. Spell rubber. Number 30 is a ribbon. Number 31, they are seeds. Number 32, I want budge. Number 33, she likes cakes. Number 34, he said, lark. Test 5. In this test, the word that you will hear does not appear on your word list. That word only rhymes with one of the words on the list. 
Listen to this word, pet. Which of the four words in example one rhymes with pet? The correct word is set. The other words do not rhyme with pet. The letter written against set is C. And this is recorded by shading as a space C against number one. Listen to this word, sing. Which of the four words in example two rhymes with sing? The correct word is wing. The other words do not rhyme with sing. The letter written against wing is D. And this is recorded by shading as a space D against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test five on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35, write. Number 36, browse. Number 37, father. Number 38, order. Number 39, cops. Number 40, pressed. Number 41, lurch. Number 42, asked. Test 6. You're now going to hear some questions and answers. The questions will all be different and the answers always the same. You have to choose the one question which goes with the repeated answer. Here are two examples. Example one, who borrowed your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did John borrow your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did he steal your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. The correct answer is C because... He borrowed my newspaper. Answers the question. Did he steal your newspaper? This is recorded by shading answer space C against number one. Example two, what is the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. Is London the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. What country is London the capital of? London is the capital of Britain. The great answer is A, because... London is the capital of Britain. Answers the question. What is the capital of Britain? This is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. In the test which follows... You will hear only the answers. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test six on your answer sheet. Start at number 43. Number 43. My room was flooded yesterday. Number 44, we did not change our money. Number 45, Rose left her teacher. Number 46, a haji will go to Ibadan. Number 47. Your TVs are faulty. Number 48. Theo will take us out.
number 49. Enjoy their company. Number 50. Where you should deposit some money. Number 51. They spoke at Sato Mary's porch. Number 52. Pastor blessed us. Test 7. You're now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct. Shade the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. He said the exercise was well done. That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is therefore statement C. This is recorded by shading answer space C. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. They enjoyed the workshop? They did. Number 54. I'm a good person. You are? Number 55. Hurry up, we'll be late. All right. Number 56. The food was delicious. Thank you. Test 8. You're now going to hear a short conversation between two speakers a man and a woman, in a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will be played to you twice. Immediately after hearing each of them, you'll be asked two questions. From your question paper, decide on the correct answers. On your answer sheet, shade the space of the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation. Why are you so quiet? Are you sick? No. I'm just upset and embarrassed. You didn't enjoy your visit to your friends then? I did, at the beginning, until I disgraced myself. Oh, no. You didn't quarrel with them, did you? Far from that. Tell me more. As we sat there conversing, I felt something cold on my foot. Looked down and saw the tail of something move under the chair. Knowing you, you can better scream the house down. If only it were that simple. I swore I had been bitten by, you know what? Oh, you told them they kept snakes in their hole? Not in so many words. I insisted I could feel the poison moving up my leg, so they should take me to hospital. And they did? Yes. We went only to be told there hadn't been any bite on my leg, not even a mosquito's. I was so ashamed. Oh, God. When they took me back to their home, they had removed all the chairs, and there lay a strip of one of these Christmas decorations. I tell you, I wanted to die of embarrassment. That's all right. It happens to all of us. Your brain tricks you into thinking something is happening to you. You actually feel like it's really happened. Don't worry. They understand. Thanks for your reassurance. Listen to the conversation again. Why are you so quiet? Are you sick? No. I'm just upset and embarrassed. You didn't enjoy your visit to your friends then? I did at the beginning until I disgraced myself. Oh, no. You didn't quarrel with them, did you? Far from that. Tell me more. As we sat there conversing, 
I felt something cold on my foot, looked down, and saw the tail of something move under the chair. Knowing you, I can bet you screamed the house down. If only it were that simple. I swore I'd been bitten by, you know what? Oh, you told them they kept snakes in their home? Not in so many words. I insisted I could feel the poison moving up my leg, so they should take me to hospital. And they did? Yes. We went only to be told there hadn't been any bite on my leg. Not even a mosquito's. I was so ashamed. Oh, God. When they took me back to their home, they had removed all the chairs, and there lay a strip of one of these Christmas decorations. I tell you, I wanted to die of embarrassment. That's all right. It happens to all of us. Your brain tricks you into thinking something's happening to you, and you actually feel like it's really happened. Don't worry. They understand. Thanks for your reassurance. Number 57. According to the conversation, number 58. From the conversation, we learn that Narrative. Do you know people have very strange beliefs? I remember when we were children, we were told that if you chase a duck, it turned into a snake and bit you. The weird thing about this is that even now, as an adult, I don't want to go near ducks. Another strange belief is that if whilst eating, you placed your hand on the bare floor, all the food went into the ground. The effect? Now I'm very careful not to let my hand touch anything but the food I'm eating. The strangest of all beliefs is the tale that when a chameleon bites you, you have to bite it back, otherwise you'll become crippled. I remember how, as children, we went about just catching the poor harmless creatures, claiming they had bitten us and biting them back. Looking back, I wonder what we thought we were doing. These reptiles are so slow that it takes them a very long time to open their mouths and shut them again. So I wonder how one could stand and wait for the poor chameleon to go through its long process of mouth opening to bite one. In any case, does the chameleon have teeth? I keep wondering, what were we doing if not enjoying ourselves at the expense of the poor creature? Listen to the narrative again. Do you know people have strange beliefs? I remember when we were children, we were told that if you chased a duck, it turned into a snake and bit you. The weird thing about this is that even now, as an adult, I don't want to go near ducks. Another strange belief is that if whilst eating, you placed your hand on the bare floor, all the food went into the ground. The effect? Now I'm very careful not to let my hand touch anything but the food I'm eating. The strangest of all beliefs is the tale that when a chameleon bites you, you have to bite it back, otherwise you'll become crippled. I remember how, as children, we went about just catching the poor harmless creatures, claiming they had bitten us and biting them back. Looking back, I wonder what we thought we were doing. These reptiles are so slow that it takes them a very long time to open their mouths and shut them again. So I wonder how one could stand and wait for the poor chameleon to go through its long process of mouth opening to bite one. And in any case, does the chameleon have teeth? I keep wondering, what were we doing if not enjoying ourselves at the expense of the poor creature? Number 59, according to the narrative. Number 60, from the narrative we learn that. Number 60. 